Welcome to the tech race. On guard. Thanks to wireless systems, fencing athletes have been liberated. In a world where wireless has become the norm, fencers who historically have depended on cable to compete have cut the cord. It's always been my dream to basically eliminate these wires. And fencing has to keep moving, so we can't carry around big heavy spools when we want to go fencing. You have to, to prepare each time and uh, we lose time for training. We paid a visit to the renowned Leon Paul Fencing Center, where brothers Ben and Alex Paul have developed a wireless fencing system that aids in training. Essentially, you just have a transmitter which sits in your back pocket, and um, we've got a, a radio communication system which has been built specifically for wireless fencing, so it's not using any of the existing uh, radio technologies that are out there. Wireless fencing looks like it's going to be a very simple problem to fix, but it's much more difficult than people think. The main difficulty is actually that the, the, the fencers all have different uh, equipment. Uh, because it was specified for a, a wired system, without changing the fencers' equipment, uh, which would obviously be very expensive to do for the whole world, um, it's very hard to solve the kind of the, the physics problem that is wireless fencing. The device transmits hits to a main scoring box, which when combined with laser line technology, eliminates any doubts whether anyone has gone out of bounds. Even the wireless system, it gives you more freedom to move. When we find a way to protect the back of the head, you'll be able to fence in circles. When I started as a kid, I definitely thought that was what it would be like, a bit of Pirates of the Caribbean or a bit, uh, but it's, yeah, completely different, like dynamic chess. Strategy is a key word in fencing. The sport may suggest fighting, but the term comes from defense and has been part of the Olympic Games since the beginning in 1896. Fencing runs deep in Ben and Alex's family. Their father, Barry Paul, classified twice for the Olympic Games, and their great-grandfather was also an instructor, who later founded the London-based Leon Paul factory in the 1920s, and made their first jackets using recycled sacks. Now, uh, when we get a hit, you can see the face being lit up, and you actually can see how the fence is feeling. And, and, and that, again, is, I think, going to add another dimension to fencing. As a fencer, when you score a touch, you can see the light straight away, it lights up, so you know, yes, I've made the touch. The mask, which incorporates lead lighting, made its debut at the Olympic Games London 2012, adding a new dimension to the sport by illuminating combatants on each hit, giving immediate feedback and adding an element of emotion. Fencing is a very traditional sport and um, people do not like change and we've always done it this way so people think we'll always will do it this way but hopefully people will see that wireless fencing is really excellent for the sport and it's going to open up great new opportunities. In the future we will be looking at adding uh, motion tracking into the weapons so we'll be able to tell uh, how fast the fencer is moving, how fast the weapon is moving. You see films like uh... Star Wars and Elf Flynn and Zorro and the fences are all running around and it looks fantastic. I love thinking about a new product and in the middle of the night I'll come up with an idea and I'll write it down.